हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो बिफोर वी प्रोसीड फॉर वर्क लेट मी गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेट आर सी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो एट फर्स्ट वी हैव लिनक्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस मैक ओ एस यूनिक्स and ms those these are the five operating system commonly used by the people but among this among these five we got windows windows is the mostly used operating system and most popular operating system installed in almost all pcs okay so can you see these pictures on the screen yes or no here at the center you can see the hardware over that we have the system software at the top most is an application software actually computer is organized in the form of what layers the innermost layer is the hardware or we can say what hardware devices which cannot function without our instructions so hardware cannot function without our instruction so the instructions are given by application software so the instruction that makes the hardware function is given by the application software but system software is needed in between so that it can act as the interface between the hardware and the application software you got it so in order to make the hardware functions what happened the application software is playing the role in the functioning of the hardware but in the middle we have the system software that act as an interface between the hardware and the software system is the lifeline of computer without operating system installed in your computer the computer will not start so in order to start your computer we need to install what operating system so operating system is the first to be loaded in the computer memory when we switch on the computer so why do we need an operating system so we need operating system because it control the computer hardware and keep it instead of readiness to follow user instruction suppose if you want to use a printer the operating system will have the printer in the state of what readiness when you give a print instruction after the printer will be start and it will be ready to accept your instruction in order to print you have to give the command to the printer got it so operating system makes our printer prints it makes our graphic and text appear on the monitor and also make the mouse pointer to click and point any icon or any program in the monitor screen so next we have coordinate between different devices we as a user will access only the control unit the control unit where the operating system is will coordinate with other input as well as output devices or the memory unit and vice versa when those units need to interact with each other or with you it give you an output or it give you an, an error messages this will do so through the control unit or the operating system so in this way the computer coordinate di between different devices next we have schedule multiple tasks now at the any given point of time for example now at any given point of time computer is doing multiple tasks yes or not we know that computer can do multiple tasks many thing computer can do for example you are watching movies with your family in computer system simultaneously you have open your email box and suddenly you see your chat message popping up you might doing them one by one because while watching movie you will not be chatting but the computer has to handle all this simultaneously so it is the operating system that decide the scheduling of the tax understand so whatever tax we do in the computers all this tax is scheduled by what operating system and next we have organize file an operating system store information in file and folder on a computer local disk just like we store what file and folder in a filling cabinets got it and next we have enable the computer to access the network so when you want to attach your computer to the internet or local network then operating system is what 
then thus it is the work of operating system that enable you to attach your computer to the internet or local network got it so next we have enable user to access and use application software so the operating system help you enable you to access any application software which you have installed in your computer system so before we proceed forward let us see some important the important function of an operating system so we have to keep in mind the important function of an operating system what are the main important function of operating system so number one is manage computer resources like hardware software share resources etc and number two is allocating resources prevent error during software use control improper use of computer these are the four important function of an operating system so <coughs> there are see some important point so one of the earliest operating system was ms dos developed by microsoft for ibm pc so ibm was the first company to introduce what a personal computer and microsoft had a fast operating system which was ms dos it was a command line interface <laughs> i'm sure that most of us what we do in computer we just take the pointer and we click over icon if you want to open any program yes or no but ms dos operating system was not having any icon just you have to type a command and then that program will open so when user start complaining that dos was difficult to use so microsoft office developed graphic user interface based on operating system called windows so ms windows was the first graphic user interface based on operating system got it so after the after the user complain about ms dos then what happened the operating system was the microsoft companies decided to launch what a graphic user interface operating system which was known as window 1.0 which was developed which was introduced in 1985 got it so next we will see the type of operating system so there are two type of operating system one is single user operating system and the second one is what multi user operating system so what do you mean by single user so single user system allow one person to access the computer system at one time example you have a single computer at home and you want to use it if someone else is using it you have to wait for him got it so single user is what single user system allow only one person to access the computer system at one time like for example personal computer or desktop that you're using personally at home so multi the user system allow more than one person to access the computer system at one time example in offices many computer are connected to one main computer to a network okay, you can see here the pictures yes or no how the computer are connected with each other this connected to what levels since all user here you can see all user are working on different computer they send their requests to the main computer for what processing in order to send the request or send anything they send to the main computer for what processing which is known as what multi user system so in this video we have learned about operating system and type of operating system and it functions so in the next video we will discuss about window basic we will meet in the next video so if you have any doubt you can comment me or you can text me and don't forget to like subscribe or share the video so sharing on the video will help other students also so, so i thank you all for attending my class and stay safe take care and god bless you